Welcome everyone, this is Mundan Nagavan. This video we are going to understand what is virtual user, duration and iteration. First of all, this all three comes under the category called input options. That means that whenever you just work with any load testing tool, we will be giving some inputs and we will be getting the output as a result or as a matrix. But it's very essential that you need to understand what kind of inputs you are giving and what kind of changes it makes in the output and what is the best optimal point that you make the input so that you will get the maximum performance out of your application. In order to understand everything we will start with the basic options which are virtual users, duration and iteration. Virtual user is something like the number of virtual users that will be simulated during your test. For example, if you have 100 virtual users, that means that you are giving 100 virtual users and its application will be taken. And the main catch is here parallel. So that means that let's consider google.com and if you mention 100 virtual users, at a time 100 virtual users can work on that application or we are loading with 100 virtual users. It's not like one after another, in the same time 100 users are trying to get that URL. And next one duration. This specifies how long your test should run. It can be in seconds, minutes and hours. But basically in practice we will do some minutes or seconds, not in hours. But it generally gives the total duration of your test. And iterations. Let's say you have one virtual user. He just approaches or just targets the google.com. After getting the URL, again if he tries, that will be the second iteration. In simple, we are telling each virtual user how many times he or she can use the same application or same function again. For instance, if the iteration is 10, then the default virtual user will be taking 10 repetitions. <coughs> so, uh, if you see as the explanation, it looks very theoretical and sometimes we may tend to forget that. Just for this I will give uh, a small example from our 90s. In 90s you, you may have called let's say the video game centers. Let's consider this scenario, you have the video game center and it has let's say 100 systems. Which means that at a time 100 users can play the video game. It is very equivalent to your virtual users. Let's consider the game. The game will be having three lives. If you exhaust all your three lives, then that means that you are not eligible to play. It's very equivalent to your iterations, which means that each user or each player can play maximum three times. And the iteration is now three. And the video game center has some rule considering the health benefit or let's say health consideration of the students or the players they told any user should not play more than one hour or let's say they are telling it will work only from morning 9 to evening 5 o'clock so that's the duration if somebody tries beyond this duration they are not allowed this is some kind of a simple comparison if you are fine with the definition that's well and good otherwise you can have some story so that you will not forget the virtual user and duration and iterations now considering this three combination, let's see some examples or some scenarios what happens if you have the more duration or more iterations or if you have the less virtual users, what happens? Let's consider some basic scenario. Now the first scenario what we are going to see is duration is more and iteration is less. Example, let's say you have 10 virtual users and duration is 30 seconds and iteration is 1. Now for simplicity we will consider whatever the application you are targeting that takes one second to respond just to make this example very simple. Then what happens? Then 10 virtual users will be taking the application or they will be targeting the application and since the iteration is 1 all the 10 users at a time can try only once. So that means that since we have only one second of response time or the function execution time all the 10 virtual users one time just went to the application and it took 10 into 1, 10 seconds. And the total duration you mentioned 30 seconds. However, 
already the exhausted the iteration and no one or no virtual user is allowed to go one more iteration so in this scenario your duration is more but iteration is less which means that even though you have that test running for 30 seconds the virtual users will take only 10 seconds the next scenario duration is less and iteration is more let's consider the same 10 virtual users and duration is 50 seconds sorry 15 seconds and iteration is 10 considering the same example let's consider one second to response the or one second for the response time or the function execution time now what happens now let's say the first 10 virtual users because we have 10 virtual users and they just target the application and it takes one second for one iteration it completes 10 seconds since the iteration is 10 it goes to the second iteration for all the 10 virtual users however after completing the 5 virtual users in second iteration you already exhausted 15 seconds which is the total duration though the virtual users having more iteration the duration has been already exhausted so you will come out of the execution because the test execution we have set only 15 seconds now in this scenario also we can understand either you exhaust your duration or your iteration you will stop the execution but in previous scenario when you exhaust your let's say the iteration still the duration is more the test might be running but there will not be any request to the application or any function execution and this points can be given inside your terminal command considering iphone iphone vus which is virtual users iphone iphone duration which can be 30 and it can be seconds or m for minutes iphone iphone iterations you can give the number of iterations at the same way let's go into the console let's go to the terminal and here you can see or let's say let me clear the screen so that you will see from scratch k6 iphone iphone virtual users duration 30 seconds and iteration 10 here you can see since we have mentioned virtual users as 10 you can see virtual user as 10 and virtual user max you might wonder why do we have two values or they say two metrics when you come to know about the stages you will come to know and that we will see in some time or some other videos and what else we have mentioned duration 30 seconds so here you can see 30 seconds maximum duration and iteration will be 10 and since almost it takes like <laughs> almost one second so might be so that's the reason we took almost 10 request this is not the only way that you can mention always in the terminal to make it simple if you feel like it is the constant one or you want to have a every time same scenario you can directly mention like options inside your script but you will be exporting as well but this is not the default export and you will be having VUS duration and seconds let's consider the same thing now I will just run through the terminal but this time I will not give any parameter from the terminal just I will mention script now this time you can see this will be the same one second one virtual user and iteration one so one maximum users and virtual users one and iteration also one so this way we can understand the virtual users and the iteration and the duration can be given through CLI as well as from the script and now we clearly understood what do you mean by virtual users and duration and iterations and we can make the different combinations to make sure we have the perfect limit where we have the duration and the virtual users and the iteration which is the optimum point where the application performs well at the same time we get the maximum virtual user duration and iteration so this is all about this video so this video we have seen what is options and basically we have not seen all the options we have seen the main options which are virtual users duration and iteration and we have seen how to execute through the CLI and how to execute or how to add these options inside the script itself so this is all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day